Welcome, beautiful friends, to the Way of Mastery. Who here has had any contact with the Way of Mastery so far? A handful? How many of you as a result of kind of the announcement of this work? Everybody else, pretty much. There's a few of us who were kind of into this pathway before. Well, I'm going to first start tonight by introducing the pathway, and then we'll get into the audio. We're going to have a beautiful kind of lead-in relaxation meditation that Kristen's going to do for us. Um, but let me tell you about the pathway. Most of you know that Jesus channeled the Course in Miracles, and many of you are studying now the Course of Love, which was the follow-on, kind of the sequel to the Course in Miracles. Well, the Way of Mastery kind of covers some of the Course in Miracles, some of the, the Course of Love, but then it's the deeper mystical teachings that Jesus himself, or He's called Yeshua in this pathway because it's the pathway that he himself walked. And he shared it through a channel, John Mark Hammer, kind of ironic that we both have the same name, who I'll introduce you to in a little bit. But these were all audio recordings. He started channeling through JM for a period of five or eight years. Then the course came along, the way of mastery. And it was 36 teachings given over three years, one a month for three years. So it's very powerful stuff. It's very intimate because you actually hear him. I mean, no more of this historical Jesus that everyone's tried to tell us about. You know, I always thought it was ironic. People wear those bracelets. What would Jesus do? I don't think anybody has a damn clue what Jesus would do. <laughs> you know, they have a bunch of perceptions or made up ideas, but I don't think they, anybody has a damn clue. But you're going to get to know Yeshua through these in a way that's the only way you can. So sit back, relax, and I will share the pathway with you. Um, the first, the pathway has a lot of material in it, as does A Course in Miracles or A Course of Love. But the first thing is the Yeshua letters. And this is the channel, John Mark Hammer, or he goes by JM. This is his personal story of Jesus coming into his living room in a ball of light and beginning this work with him. And what's powerful about this is J.M. lays it all out here. He talks about his doubts. Is this for real? Is he making all this up? Um, as he's coming to grips with the fact that he's having a direct encounter with, with Yeshua. So it's very, very powerful and very intimate. I know some of you have been through it already. Um, you can get it online or at lulu.com. Um, the next portion of the pathway is the way of mastery itself. And there are two versions of it that are out there. There's the blue book. I saw a couple of you came in with the blue book. This is from the Shanti Cristo Foundation, which J.M. founded at Yeshua's direction and purchased some land in Santa Fe and created the Shanti Cristo Foundation. This book is a direct translation of the audios that we're going to hear. This one is also a direct translation, but this one includes the Q&A that Jesus will do after each channeling. There were people who were there who asked him questions, everything about sexuality, A Course in Miracles, all kinds of stuff. This book, available on lulu.com, has those question and answer texts, whereas that's been left out of the, the Shanti Cristo Foundation. So either one of these are kind of the same thing. They're just transcriptions. And the audio tapes are, or the audios are available for you to download from the Shanti Cristo Foundation um, or from John Mark Hammer's website, which I'll get to. Yeah, I'll get to that one. Um, but the, the way of mastery is broken up into three parts. It, like I said, it was done over three years. For the, so the first 12 lessons is called the way of the heart. <laughs> The middle 12 lessons is the way of transformation. And the last is the way of knowing. And this is what everybody's really after. And enough with theology, enough with belief. You want to know at the base of your being. You want to know in a way that is undeniable. And that's what this pathway is designed to lead us all back to. The knowing of who we really are. Not a theory, not a concept, not something you have to believe and maybe you'll find out at death. You'll find out in life. So that's the pathway itself. And then the last book is called The Way of the Servant. And Jesus indicates through this pathway that the highest and last 
incarnation that a soul will express is one of service. Not service as the world might dictate it, but service as love itself extends itself through you. And that's what I'm doing in my last incarnation here, is, is doing this work that is extended through me. So those are the primary things of the pathway. They're all available on lulu.com, or you can get them on Amazon too. So we'll go through, um, through the pathway. The other really important thing about this is Jesus, through this channel, JM, returned his original teachings to their original, original meanings. If, you know, Jesus taught in Aramaic, that was his native tongue, and it got translated from that to, to some other language, then to Greek, then to English, and the translations are incredibly bad. They're just really, really bad. So as we explore this pathway, we will go through the Aramaic Beatitudes retranslated by Yeshua into English with His intended meaning. And when you see the, the English version that we know, like the King James Version, and you see that G Yeshua's translated Aramaic version, you'll know they're talking two completely different intentions. We'll also do that with the Lord's Prayer, the Aramaic Lord's Prayer. Um, because the Lord's Prayer, as we've all known it, perpetuates this idea that God is somehow outside of us. It, it starts with the assumption that there's a separation. That's all kind of corrected in the original um, Aramaic Lord's Prayer, which we'll listen to tonight. If you haven't heard it, it's really powerful. I know the first time I heard it, some, some toggle got flipped within my being. It was a remembrance that just something turned on. So maybe that will be for your experiences tonight. But this is John Mark Hammer. Um, I, um, we've spent time with him. Marion and I have in Santa Fe. You know, he's an enlightened mystic. And he's a powerful, powerful being. Because Yeshua took him all the way back as he laid this pathway out. All the way to enlightenment. And he's got a handful of mystical powers that he uses from time to time. So that's a brief introduction to the pathway. What we'll do through this work is we'll listen to them collectively. You know, when he taught where two or more are gathered, there's extraordinary power. And I will join with him tonight before we get started. And effectively, he'll be sitting right here. So it's really, really powerful stuff. But JM's website has got a ton of information on it, wayofmastery.com. If you're interested, you can go. He's got all kinds of videos, um, old stuff that was channeled. You can purchase the other channelings, just very powerful stuff. So um, with any channeled work, our egoic mind tends to be doubtful and suspicious and cautious, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that, but the ego's always that way. It's always fearful about everything. The important thing to try and do tonight is let the gatekeeper, which is that front part of your consciousness that's always acting as the filter, always evaluating what's coming in. Do I believe that? I think that's bullshit. No, I don't know about that. It's trying to pick and choose which pebbles actually drop in your consciousness. And if any of you have done the Course in Miracles or some of those other works, if you go back a year or two later and you read the lesson again, it's like you're reading a whole new lesson. It's like, I don't remember that at all. It's because the first time there was so much fear that it didn't get in. The ego effectively blocked it out, or to use our, the metaphor from my last dialogue, the pond was frozen, so the pebble couldn't actually get dropped in. So, and I'll, I'll rephrase that for those of you who weren't here. The thing that Jesus taught me, and this is really kind of beginner's mind, is to imagine myself as a pond. If you're deeply identified with the ego, it's frozen. So ideas and concepts can't get in because you've already, the mind is closed. You've decided what everything means and it's rigid, it's frozen. And he taught me to be like an open, still pond where any pebble can get dropped in. And then the truth will be revealed when that pebble hits the bottom of the pond. You don't have to do anything but open and allow. So to try and help get us into that space, Kristen is going to lead us in a I, I, she'll guide us in a process of deep relaxation. She's a hypnotist here in town, 
and also a Course in Miracles student and a highly conscious person, so she may be of some value to you guys, but she's going to help kind of set us up and get us in that space to just drop the filter, drop the gate, the guard at the gate that's the ego, and just let this land softly deep in your being. You're welcome. I really the, need yeah. My name is Kristen. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Indeed. Um, enjoy this process. I hope you do. And if you um, do allow yourself to relax with me, like John Mark said, you will be able to receive the information in a more passive way, which is a good thing sometimes. Excuse me. <clears throat> so I'm actually going to do this with you because I'd like to go to relaxed state as well so I can be receptive to the way of mastery which I have not been a part of <clears throat> so I'm calling this guy to relaxation and that's because it's just light, gentle, enjoyable so uh, take advantage of it if you'd like otherwise just Whatever, whatever you want. So um, I'm going to begin the process um, by just asking that you remove your glasses, if you want. Remove gum. Loosen your belts, if you'd like. This process is just for you. And the process of relaxation is incredibly healthy and important. <clears throat> and I also want to say thank you for the opportunity. Oh, you're welcome. All right. So we're actually going to start. I'm going to start um, here shortly. I'm going to count from 10 down to 1. And on 10, uh, on the numbers, you can just open your eyes. And when I say the word relax, you can just close your eyes. And with each progressive number, just um, open your eyes. And then when I say the word relax, allow yourself to relax deeper and deeper down. And we'll begin now. 10, just open your eyes. Good. And relax. Close your eyes. And just let your eyes close. Good. 9, open your eyes. Good. And relax. Close your eyes. Good. You can just find a spot in front of you. 8, open your eyes. Relax. Close your eyes. Good. 7, relax. Six, relax. Five, relax. Four, relax. Three, relax. Two, relax. One, relax. And just keep your eyes closed. And now just begin to allow yourself to enjoy the feeling of relaxation. Now in a moment, I'm going to have you roll your eyes back in your head. And when I do, I'm going to have you take an in-breath. And when I say the word relax, allow yourself to relax completely. So you can go ahead now and just roll your eyes to the back of your head. Strain. Keep your eyes closed. Strain. Roll your eyes up and back. Take a nice deep in-breath. And hold it, straining now with your eyes, allowing yourself a bit of exertion and tension, holding, holding, and completely relax. And when you do, relax your entire body now, completely. <clears throat> Good. Keeping your eyes closed, roll your eyes back in your head now, holding it, exerting it, taking a nice deep in-breath. Holding it, holding it, holding it. When I say the word relax, just relax your entire body, all your muscles in your body, and relax. Let go. Good. All the way down. All the way down, deeper and deeper. And one more time, eyes rolled back, please. Nice, deep in-breath. Exert, exert, exert. And now you can just relax all the way down. Good, good. And now just take a moment to scan your whole body with your mind's eye. In any area you may have any extra tension, just really let it soften and relax. Really pay attention to your teeth. Make sure your teeth are unclenched. Soften your tongue. 
Let your cheeks hang. Allow your body and your muscles to relax. In fact, if you need to move to make yourself more comfortable, feel free to do that now. Just enjoy the process of relaxation. Good. Now, actually, I'm going to challenge you um, and see how much you can focus. What I'd like you to do now, as you listen to my voice, I'd like you just to pay attention to your breathing. And I want you to pay attention to my voice and pay attention to your breathing at the same time. I want you to focus deeply now on your breathing, bringing all your attention and awareness just to the feeling of your breath going in and out. Notice its speed. Notice how it feels while also maintaining focus on my voice. And now at the same time that you're noticing your breathing, I want you to become aware of the color behind your eyes, behind your eyelids. See if you can focus on your breathing, on my voice, and on the color behind your eyelids all at the same time. Good. And when you have that, I want you to add a fourth thing. I'd like you just to become aware of the temperature in the room now. Allow yourself to become aware of the temperature in the room while also listening to my voice, while also paying attention to your breath and noticing the color behind your eyelids. Good. Great. Now, when you've got those four things, I'd like you to become now aware of the weight of your hands. Notice the weight of your hands while also becoming aware of my voice, of your breath, of the color behind your eyelids, of the temperature in the room, the weight of your hands. Good. Keep your focus on all five of those things, while you also notice any ambient noise in the room, like the sound of the projector, or a neighbor breathing. Just become acutely aware of any sounds in the room. Good. Listening to my voice, noticing your breath, the temperature of your body, the color behind your eyes, the weight of your hand, the sound in the room. And as you focus on those things, keeping your mind intently focused, in a moment I'm going to ask you just to focus on one thing, on simply one thing. And at that moment, I want you just to let all those ideas, all those other thoughts go. But for now, just stay focused on your breathing, on the color behind your eyes, the temperature in the room, the sound in the room. And now I want you just to let all those things go and I want you just to do one thing for me. I want you to completely relax and listen to my voice. Just relax and listen to my voice and just let go of all those things. But I want you to enjoy the process of relaxing right now as you just completely surrender, not having to be anyone or do anything, just completely letting go right now, not having to think of anything, not having to be anyone or do anything as you just listen to my voice and relax and allow yourself to go deeper and deeper into relaxation, just really starting to enjoy the process of relaxation. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to use your vivid imagination. I want you to indulge me as you indulge in this fantasy that you and I are going to concoct with our minds. I want you just to imagine now for me a stairwell. And I want you to imagine this stairwell is coming down from heaven, from the ethereal realm, maybe from a cloud or from the sky. Make it any way you want. Just picture this stairwell in your mind now. Maybe make it marble and ornate. And it's coming all the way down to the planet Earth. Picture that stairwell now coming down from a cloud all the way down to planet Earth. And just use your vivid imagination to the best of your ability, even if you have to pretend to see it in your mind's eye. 
go ahead and pretend to see it as you create this mystical stairwell in your mind. Now I want you to see yourself at the top of the stairwell, and I want you to see yourself in the best possible light, strong, beautiful, noble. See yourself standing at the top of the stairwell, maybe in this cloud in the beautiful blue sky. And imagine the railing and imagine the stairwells stretching down before you all the way to the planet Earth. And see yourself now standing there. And in a moment, we're going to walk down these stairs. And with each step, you go deeper and deeper into relaxation. With each step, you go further and further down into relaxation. And seeing yourself at the top now, strong, beautiful, the best of yourself, proud and noble standing at the top and beginning to descend these stairwell now, using all your senses. Feel the stairs and the railing. And you can step down now, go further down, down. See yourself descending down deeper and deeper down these stairs. Down, further down now. Really see yourself taking that next step down, deeper and deeper down. And you're halfway there, halfway there now, going down further and further into deep relaxation, just really letting go now. Good, and you're coming to the last step. You're coming to the very last step, and you get to the bottom and you step off. And you step off and you find yourself at an imaginary beach. And I want you just to picture this beach and make this beach as beautiful as you can make it. Make this day the best kind of day. And bring in all the senses once again. Bring in that smell of the fresh, salty air. Bring in the sound of the waves crashing on the seaside. And maybe the birds flying overhead. Let yourself really enjoy making this beach the most beautiful beach. Good. And when you've got that in your mind, I want you to realize now that this beach is called the beach that time forgot, the beach where time has stopped. This beach is the beach where time has stopped and stood still, and you're free to be here and move and run and be happy and at peace. And you feel that joy now as you allow yourself just to be here in this space on this beach. And I want you to use your imagination and even imagine looking down the beach, down the beach, and seeing a door or a portal and saying, seeing that that says the future, and looking down the other way down the beach and seeing another door or portal and saying that's the past. And right here you are now at the beach, the beach where time has stopped. And you get to just be in peace and joy in between the past and the future. And you're walking on this beach, and you imagine your feet digging into the sand. Just imagine that now, the warmth of the sand between your toes. And maybe you've put your feet in the water, and the water is tugging on your ankles as it recedes into the great ocean. And you're picturing the beauty now, making the colors as vibrant as possible, the deep blues of the sky, deep color of the water. And you're walking along this beach and you're realizing right now, and you're remembering right now that you're not a body. Yet you're walking strong and proud and free, feeling so good. And you're remembering now that you're a spirit. And you're remembering now you're a spirit on this special beach, this beach where time has stopped. And it feels so good to be free on this beach where time has stopped. And you're walking on this beach as a spirit enjoying being in this body, and you realize there's another spirit on this beach. You realize there's another spirit on this beach, and the spirit is glowing with love and radiating. And you realize now that spirit wants to communicate with you, and I want you just to imagine now that this other spirit on this beach is trying to communicate with you. And you realize just long enough to stop and pay attention. And you turn to this other spirit, and you realize it's the spirit of Jesus on this beach. And I want you to enjoy realizing that you are having this opportunity to communicate directly with Jesus and that he has a message to give you and that your job is to listen and to receive this message. And you are so grateful for this opportunity. And his spirit has been trying to communicate with you directly for so long. And here he is right here ready to deliver his message. And you are such a great student. 
You are such a great student. You are so ready to receive his message. And you stand there open and receptive, so deeply interested in what he has to say. And you just receive and welcome his message. And you allow it just to come into you. And you allow the feelings of the message to enter and imprint on you. And you also allow yourself to see through his eyes and feel through his heart. And in a moment, you can take these deep feelings of relaxation. You can stay relaxed as John Mark will put on this audio recording. And you can allow them and JM and JC. And in the end, I'll just talk for one more minute at the okay. end of the recording. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Kristen. That beach feels nice. Very nice. Keep in mind these audios were done at the advent of personal audio recording technology, so they're not the highest quality recordings. So go ahead and let your mind be free to dispense with any complaints about that. It's the message that's important. So we'll do the Lord's Prayer, and then I'll join with Yeshua, and we'll get started. Te te malkuda. Never a city nach. I cannot wash my oparaha. Howlan lachman zum kanan yaman. Wash walklan halpin. I cannot apanan. Schwakin il hayabin. Ula talan il mission. El pasan in bisha. But hard la him al kuta, u haila, u tish bokta. La alam, amen. Amen. There are no accidents in this miraculous universe that we inhabit. If you're in this room, there's a very, very good reason that you're in this room. If you so choose, this pathway can take you all the way home. It's not for everyone, and there are many, many pathways. Each one will lead home. You'll, you'll discern for yourself. You'll have a feeling and you'll know either this is for me or it's not, and it's perfectly okay either way. if you so choose, has begun for you. Does anyone have any questions tonight or comments? Powerful stuff. Gordon, would you mind?
I'll, I'll address that for you in just a second. So the experience is you're either coming out of love or fear. So how could that be neutral? No, your thoughts are about the experience. You don't perceive the event. This experience is neutral, and you apply either loving or fear-based thought to it. And it is in the course, it's in the first five lessons, that all events are neutral. The body is neutral. The world is neutral. I'll share it with you later if you want, but um, you. we don't have neutral thoughts about neutral events, so we create experiences of suffering when we think negative thoughts, or we create peace when we think positive thoughts, or you know, just no thoughts is the greatest peace. But all events of time and space are neutral. You'll hear later on in one of these, he'll, he'll talk about the crucifixion as a neutral event. That, of course, the world placed extraordinary value upon it, very different than the, the thoughts or the value that Yeshua put on it. You're welcome. Gordon Keldwin right here. You don't want to? Okay. I was, I was going to take your question. I take my question now. Okay. Well, sorry. <laughs> Will this be um, available to listen to if we can't come every week? Um, you, can, you can go online and purchase them from Shanti Cristo. I mean, you can get the okay. whole 36 series. Um, my commitment to JM, the channel, was that I would play them here, mm -hmm. um, but that I wouldn't publish them on the Internet. Right. Um, full thing. You will be able to call in um, next week or any time you're not here and listen to it on like a conference call. Okay. It won't be live stream because that can get picked up all over the place. But you will be able to listen to them if you're not physically here. But if you miss it, you're on your own to find the audio. Okay. I will publish on Vimeo the setup. And when it comes to the audio, it'll say either read it or go listen to it yourself. And then the question and answer will be after it. But the, the actual audio recording won't be there. Thank you. So, Tom in the back. Oh, that was your question? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyone else? Is it possible after the audio to have a slight break before the questions start? Sure. I really was having a personal kind of thing, and that was like... It was just too jarring for me. Okay. Anyone else? I'll do announcements before we go. Um, I have, for everyone, if you desire to take it, I've pulled out of Lesson 1 um, some highlights. And I would stress the very first one, which Yeshua addressed right off the bat. And so, beloved friends... I come to where you choose to be, and if you would choose to open that place within your heart and within the mind in which you can communicate with me directly, I will meet you there. And it was my willingness to do that, that I met him there, that he could walk me all the way home, out of the labyrinth that I had created. So think not that you can't have your own direct very personal and very intimate relationship with him, but it's on you to do that. He's there waiting already. Love merely waits on your welcome. But anyway, these are over there, and you're welcome to take them with you. It's got nice highlights from the, from the lesson. Um, there's an email list. Some new folks are here on the other side of the fireplace. There's an email list. If you'll sign up, I send out an event once a week, uh, an email that includes last week's events and stuff for the coming events. Um, oh, no, no, yeah, it's just one email list, yeah. Um, love offering on the other side of the fireplace is a basket. If you're so inclined, please do it. I am sustained, and my family is sustained in all ways by love. So with that, um, as Yeshua said, this is a family, and I don't do this work by myself because I can't. Of myself, I can do absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. We love you with an infinite love and an absolutely perfect peace.
and I'd love hugs before everybody goes home tonight. Peace be with you. Oh, real quick, next week won't be lesson number two. We're going to go in depth into lesson number one. I will we'll bring up parts of it, and then I will illuminate them ever deeper and ever deeper. Yeshua is a master. If you've, if you've done the Course in Miracles, I mentioned earlier, you read a lesson a year later, you read it, it's like it has a whole new meaning. So I will take this first lesson and deepen it. What the mind wants to do is it wants to pick up this book and read it like a novel and get to the end. Richard can relate to this because he picked it up and like, I'm on it, I'm on it, I'm on it. You want to get to the last page and know how it ends. Um, <laughs> this, yeah, that, it's, it's not a novel. I mean, this is to bring your soul home to God and it's incredibly deep and it's deeply profound. It's not something to just wing through like a bestseller and sit back and go, wow, that was really great. So um, next week, and depending on how long we get next week, it may be the next two weeks that we deepen um, the experience of uh, lesson number one before we do the next one. So with that, and you wanted to say something? He, he, in the original channeling, when these came, they were one a month. And you'll hear in, a, in the next, maybe it's the next one or the third one, he asked them to listen to it every day for a month. Every day. So if you have them in text, read them every day. I mean, I'm serious. It's, it's, it's on you to do the work. It's here. The pathway's been given, but you have to walk it. So it's up to you. You can walk it or not, and you can use this pathway or find another one. You'll get home eventually, I'm sure. So with that, good night. Beautiful friend, thank you so much for watching. The way of mastery is truly indeed the pathway given to us by the Master Himself, Yeshua. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're so moved to give a love offering, my family and I would joyfully welcome it. You can see there on the screen our website at onewhowakes.org. In the upper right-hand corner where that red arrow is, is a little give button. If you click there, you'll be directed to PayPal and you could put in a donation. And we would certainly appreciate it. Peace be with you.